Um, we have to go eight miles from Chapel Hill for this. Go to Duke. Duke added another five-star recruit to their mm. 2018 draft class in Joey Baker. Joey Baker, six foot seven, small forward from North Carolina. He was supposed to enroll in 2019. He's now enrolling one year earlier. So we will see Joey Baker on the court this fall for the Duke Blue Devils. Reminder, this is their fifth, fifth five-star in this draft class. Is As North Carolina Tar Heel fans, are we worried about Duke's recruiting prominence recently? There are five five stars on this roster, all right? Uh, I mean, from what I've seen, Joey Baker, he's the five-star crew. He's probably going to have to red. He's probably going to be a bench role because, I mean, the the concentration of Duke's picks are at the small forward, forward wing position with Zion, Reddish, and Barrett playing all the same position. Uh, Zion, uh, we don't know how that's going to work out. He's probably not going to be able to space the floor as well, so Joey Baker's probably going to have to come on for him whenever Zion's not spacing the floor well enough. But uh, this is terrifying. What is Mike Krzyzewski doing? How much money is he giving them? I mean, you know, like I heard a joke the other day. It's like, you know, a, a Duke player who doesn't go in the in the lottery round, uh, they're taking a pay cut going to the NBA from when they went go to Duke. I mean, literally, this guy is, he's out calipari Calipari. I mean, he's completely gone to the one and done. Uh, you come in, you leave. I mean, we saw that Br- uh, Bagley and all these guys, this past class, they're all gone. They're all leaving. Uh, and I think krzyzewski has been, like, hopping onto that bandwagon. But you know what? As a Tar Heel fan, I'm not necessarily too worried about this because knowing Duke, they're going to get really far. Uh, they're going to do great in the regular season. They're going to get to the, the tournament, and they're going to choke in the Elite Eight or the Sweet 16 like they do for the past six years. So suck it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not that worried about Duke. You know, you get to a certain point, Duke's going to have the most talented team. You know, adding one more five-star, you know, can it's it's you know, it's like a bell curve. Can they really get that much better? It's not linear. You know, you're not adding a five-star and getting that much better. It all depends. Um, they already have a bunch of five-stars already there. They already have, you know, four to begin with. The number one rated player, R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, number two, then the fifth rated player in the country, Zion Williamson, and the 12th, Trey Jones. So the talent is going to be there with Duke. It was there last year, and they had senior leadership in Grayson Allen, and it didn't work out. You know, you see in March the teams that have experience are the teams that make it far. We've seen that with our own UNC teams. We saw Marcus Page and Bryce Johnson. They were able to lead the team. They ended up losing to Villanova. Villanova is not a guy who's re- who are recruiting five five-stars a year. They build their teams through experience. And who just won? Villanova. Who won the year before that? North Carolina with Joel Berry, you know, with, with, with all these guys, Theo Pinson, with guys who have had experience and Justin Jackson and, and have been there and they've done that. They've had experience in March and they're able to not get flustered in big tournament situations because you will be. To win a national championship, there's going to be a game in there where you got to get sort of lucky. you got to have that March Madness feel, hit a crazy shot, and not be, you know, not falter in a moment that's too big. And I think when you get all these Duke freshmen, you know, they, they haven't played with each other, they don't have the experience. There's nothing like playing in March Madness. It doesn't matter how big of games you played in high school, if you played in the state championship, if you played in the Max Preps National Championship. They're not as big as March Madness. They're not as big as the Final Four, and you need experience. Um, in regards to North Carolina, we haven't been able to get the talent that I think we've wanted because of the scandal recently, but look at this. So in 2017's recruiting class, we did not have one five-star. We had two four-stars, Garrison Brooks and Jaleek Felton. Jaleek Felton's gone, so in reality, we had one four-star come into North Carolina last year. This year, we already have two. We have Nazir Little, who's the third-ranked national product. Some people argue he might be the best player in the country. We'll see. He is. His stock is skyrocketing oh, as of late. He's going to be good. There's still Kobe White as well, 22, five-star, and Recon Black later. So North Carolina has their five-stars. They don't have too many, and if they can just build the experience that I'm not worried. You have Roy. Roy Shoney can do it without five stars, and now Roy has two more five stars. I think to go along with what you were saying about the recruiting, how what we see is that veterans are winning more in the tournament. Uh, Villanova, what Jay Wright is doing there is 
I think it's going to be looked back upon as a little bit uh, of a turning point in how they're recruiting. Villanova, uh, they aren't going for the top prospects, but they're going for those role player type of guys that they know like can fit into their system. And we know that Roy recruits to fit in their system. And we see like there is a plan for how these teams are recruiting, how Villanova had uh, Omari Spellman and Michael Bridges and Jalen Brunson. Those guys fit into a niche on that team. Villanova's identity is there, a three-point extremely efficient offense they're they're moving the ball around and i think they they do that well and then with uh with uh with roy williams he's basically essentially just upgrading from joel berry and theo pinson and getting nasir little and kobe white and i think he does have a plan there i mean and uh we're definitely gonna have to probably look more for our bigs but seeing duke there's just this past draft class they had i mean uh, recruitment class they had bagley and they had duvall and they had uh they had all those guys, but now it's, it doesn't seem like there's so much of a plan as there should be. I mean, there's just a ton of wing guys. I mean, they're all small forwards, and rather than guys who can fit into other positions on the floor, I think this is just a big talent play that Duke is going for. I don't know if this is going to form into an actual cohesive unit. Yeah, I mean, talent will win you a lot of regular season games, so earn you a high AP ranking. We saw that last year at Duke, but... You need talent and you need experience to win in March, and that's what UNC has been doing as of late, and Duke hasn't. Um, just because Duke gets one more five star doesn't mean it's going to change. I think UNC is going to going to keep uh, getting those W's in Cameron and Chapel Hill and, and late in March. All right, 